Okay, in this video, what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at reading resistor color codes. Okay, now resistors are devices that prevent the or impede the uh, flow of current through a circuit. And so this is an example of a resistor. These are just some of the examples. They're uh, different um, packaging types, but these are probably the ones that you probably use most often in, let's say, a lab class or uh, possibly at work. If you're using uh, resistors to, um, let's say, doing some sort of a manufacturing product, chances are the resistors are going to be significantly smaller than this. But let's say you encounter these resistors and you need to uh, be able to read the color code. Uh, most resistors that you encounter will have uh, four bands on them. And what do we mean by four bands? If you look on this resistor here, you'll notice that there's four color bands on the resistors. And this one also, you'll notice that there's four color bands on the resistor. All right, how do you go about reading those color bands? Well, first of all, we got to understand what each of those colors mean. Okay, so here are the colors that you may encounter. You may encounter black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, uh, gray, and white. Okay, what those colors mean, we're going to associate a number with each of these colors. All right. Uh, Black will be zero, brown is one, red is two, orange is three, yellow is four, green is five, uh, blue is six, violet is seven. Let's make this better. Violet is seven, gray is eight, and white is nine. You also see um, two other colors, possibly, that are very common. You'll see uh, gold, and you'll see silver. Uh, gold we'll call, uh, we'll put, uh, oops, I'm sorry, gold we'll put 5% and 10% and I'll explain that in a minute. All right, for those two. Now people have different ways of remembering um, the color codes here. Uh, and associating these uh, colors with the numbers. Uh, what I like to do is from here down to violet those are the uh the colors of the rainbow in that order red orange yellow green blue violet all right and then of course um the way i like to look at it is black is the absence of all color and white is the presence of all color so that sort of gives me a way to remember this some remember it by doing uh what is it roy g biv so R O Y, that's Roy, G B V as as in Biv. You use whatever helps you remember this the best. Okay? Use whatever uh, helps you. Alright, so now we have our color codes. Again, we have four bands. So let's say we are looking at uh band number one. So we'll call that the first band. And then we have band number two second band third band and then we have the fourth band all right the first band oh well let's start with the, uh, how to position the uh color the resistor when we're doing the uh, reading of the colors you always want to start uh, not start but you you want to have your gold or silver band or and i guess i should mention this if you don't see a third band a fourth band pardon me then we'll use 20% there, so that's no band. Okay, so you always want to begin with your silver, gold, or no third band on the on your uh, right side. Okay, when you're reading the colors, and then you're gonna start from the left band, go over to the right. With this, the first one over here is number one. Uh, this is number two. This is number three, and then that's our fourth band. Okay, first band 
on this resistor here is brown and so we look over at our color code and it says brown is equal to one so we'll put the number one there uh, second band on this one is the color black color black is zero okay uh, third one is the color green which is the number five and then the fourth band is the color gold and according to our list down here gold is five percent okay all right so what this says to us is then that this resistor is a one you take the number from the first column which is one number from the second column which is zero and you're going to multiply that by 10 raised to the fifth power and then it has a tolerance range which means plus or minus five percent okay plus or minus five percent so when we calculate this out this is one zero uh let's not put the multiply sign in there this time but one zero and five more zeros so that's one two three four five which makes this a one mega ohm resistor okay it's a one mega ohm resistor with a plus or five five uh, percent uh, tolerance all right okay so that's uh, this resistor here so going back up here you read the first band as is the second band as is the third band is called the multiplier band that's MUL multiplier plier and then the fourth band is what's called a tolerance band oops tolerance band that's a C okay so that's the tolerance band is the fourth band multiplier band is the uh, third band all right okay let's take a look at this resistor here for this resistor we have the color code on here of brown black and red brown black and red is brown is again one is one black is zero and red is two and this one has a silver uh, pardon me not silver but gold so that's also five percent and so then this turns out to be equal to so this was the first resistor here this is now the second resistor we're looking at so this turns out to be ten times ten to the second power plus or minus five percent and so then this ends up being one zero with two more zeros so it's a 1000 ohm resistor plus or minus five percent and I guess I didn't explain this uh, earlier the plus of uh, minus five percent what this means is that the manufacturer when the manufacturer manufactured this resistor there is no way to guarantee that it was going to be exactly a 1000 ohm resistor okay there was no way in the world they could uh, say that but what they can guarantee you is that it's going to be somewhere with b between a range of plus and minus five percent so that means then that the maximum value of this resistor okay could be 1050 and then the minimum value could be 950 so somewhere in between there this 1000 ohm resistor will be and they can guarantee that all right so that's how you would uh, read the color codes on the resistors again you you have to use your chart here uh, black brown red orange yellow green blue violet gray white gold silver uh, and no band the way I like to think about these by the way is that gold is most popular so if you if someone was to create a 5% resistor that one is going to be more valuable because they, they the tolerance is so small so this one is 5% silver is second most popular which is 10% and then no band and no no uh, precious metals 20% okay so these are the color codes and then you read them first band second band the multiplier band and the tolerance band okay and then use that information then to go ahead and calculate what your resistor value is this is a one mega ohm and this is a one kilo ohm resistor okay and that one mega ohm and one kilo ohm resistor were the two that we just checked earlier and that's how you go about checking uh, or interpreting the color codes on a four band uh, resistor all right